Hi, this is Chelsea with Crush Customs in Atlanta, Georgia. We're right outside of Atlanta at Upfix. I'm with Ernest. Ernest, you repair all kinds of computer modules and displays, factory repairs. Tell me about this. What does it do? And when it's broken, what does it not do? And how do you guys fix it? Okay, yeah, so this is a BMW ECU, and ECU stands for Engine Control Unit. It's primarily responsible for uh, the engine itself. And what's known to go bad on these is coil drivers, but also other issues like no communication and a few others. Uh, if you visit our website, upfix.com, you'll see all the codes that we support for repairs specifically on this. So the MSD80 and MSD81 uh, ECUs are known to fail after a certain age uh, because of just wear and tear and the engine being so powerful. Uh, the ECU also takes a punishment from that. And uh, this is from a BMW 335 2007, which has an inline six twin turbo. And those are known to have a lot of problems with the engine, um, which is why the ECU tries to calculate and compensate and it eventually starts to have more issues. So uh, that's one of the main reasons why we rebuild these. And there's different manufacturers for ECUs, particularly for the BMW. So you have like here, you see Siemens, Another company that makes them is Bosch. Bosch is a very popular uh, manufacturer that make all kinds of products, but a lot of transmission computer modules and uh, ECUs are made by Bosch and Siemens. And so you bring them in for repair and then you kind of give them a little tweak? Exactly, we bench test it. First, we would look up uh, the web order and see what's going on with the, what the customer is saving he's having issues with. And we would first determine if it's something in a vehicle or if it's the actual ECU. Then we would put on a bench test and see if we can corroborate what the customer is saying is having issues with. So we would do like a bench test simulation mm -hmm. and put this thing through its paces and then prepare anything that's needed. Yeah. So, I mean, I can imagine coming from a BMW or going into a BMW dealership with this problem. I mean, typically, what would that cost to replace that unit at a BMW dealership? I would say if they even have it available, it would start from $800 and going up. It can cost thousands of dollars. Um, ECUs are VIN encoded, so they're very specific to a vehicle. One thing we strongly urge customers not to do is discard the original because it's all the original programming. Even if it's bad and fried, you have to try to preserve and don't discard that ECU because, well, you can always do a clone. And basically, the original ECU, it's always better to refurbish the original if it's possible. Sometimes they're just simply too far gone, but there's nothing that, you know, we try our best to make sure we can get the original one back to OEM working condition. I love it. Yep. BMW customers are pretty, particularly about their own. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's an enthusiast car. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, people love modifying the webbing on the seatbelts and, you know, interior upgrades where you can replace the radio with a whole bunch of different features like the double din and, you know, obviously engine performance modifications. Uh, we have a lot of customers that send these ECUs and they tell us, hey, I've already upgraded this, did the chip upgrade, uh, because the BMW 335 in particular comes with 300 horsepower. But if you do a chip tuning, it immediately unlocks 100 horsepower or more. But guess what? This ECU is OEM. So if you haven't remapped this to compensate for that power, it puts a lot of stress on the original uh, software on this ECU. Yeah, so that's why we try to make sure that we, if they say that they modified the engine, we put stronger internal components so they can withstand the power from the engine that the customer installed. And so that's another thing that's very popular with these MSD80 and MSD81s. These are probably the most like, popular to modify ECUs because just a BMW is an enthusiast driver's car and now it's a you know becoming quickly uh, a classic. Yeah, it is. So yeah, this the E90, E91, 92, 93, the Cabriolet, the the Coupe, the Sedan, popular cars and BMW owners love these cars. So we try to keep those cars on the road. Absolutely. Absolutely.